I know that you are considered a psychic medium and a channeler and that you connect with your higher self and bring through information. So I'm wondering if um, you would be able to do that for us now. Would that be something that you could do is kind of connect in and just sort of bring a message for all of us that are here? Yeah, eventually I am able to do that. Uh -huh. But for me, the dynamic that I usually take, it's that I am asked a question or I am asked any specific like idea or, or um, topic behind it. Because that way, as I said mm -hmm. before with the downloads, when you get an answer, that's a download because the information is behind it. Like the question and the answer are part of the same structure. They're not separated in a sense. So whenever, if I am given any specific like questions, of mm -hmm. course that the information comes forward pretty easily. Okay, um, well, I know that initially you said that your interest was in spiritual um, topics and those kinds of things. And I'm wondering, maybe you could bring forward some information about maybe the soul itself and maybe the, the dynamics of the soul. Surely. Well, how my higher mind understands the soul and she communicates to me about how is the structure. It's, um, it's a geometrical fractal structure of many different vibrational layers of consciousness, facets of consciousness. So the all that is, this is a pattern, this is a kind of like a structural pattern that mimics the whole geometrical structure of the all that is, you know, but in an individual fashion. And that actually is what we see in the floor of life. When we see a spherical a center of like a sphere in the middle that fractalizes itself and expands itself into a what we call the flower of life in um, we see that that potential is held within all spheres of the whole structure because we have one sphere there as the center point but just because we have to find it as that but as the the sphere in the center the sphere that it is like the, the kind of like base of all of the rest of the spheres but actually any sphere of the structure has the same structure that that one has. It's an illusion that only one has that. So this same structure is the, the this same structure, it's the same one that the all that is shares with the individual consciousness and with the oversoul. The all that is, it's one same energy, one same consciousness, but expressing a fractalized intersected fashion in which it will be one being all that is but at the same time everything and nothing at the same time so when it express itself in this fractal nature it has the potential by the disintegration it perspect its per perception into a lower uh, fractal aspect of itself it now has a kind of like different dimensional perspective like not fully integrated perspective about itself in terms of perception the heart chakra will always hold the essence we always hold that totally integrated um connection with all that is but the perception in terms of like the mind will actually disintegrate it so that it will have a perspective of something that is different as an illusion through the dynamics, through the idea of illusion of separation, it will have a perception that there is something different, there is something outside. So that that outside, that dynamic of inside and outside it has a dynamic, dual, dual dynamic in which it reflects and projects, you know, so it will act like a mirror, you know, it will make you seem as that you are separated 
only through that illusion of separation and disintegration, you will have the idea that you're something different. You're something, um, you're something separated and you're like an individual consciousness. But that's just for you to get to express beingness, for the all that is to express beingness. Because when you, when the all that is, is everything, it's nothing at the same time. Because if you're everything, you're nothing at the same time because you hold everything. So the only way of being, experiencing, being something, as someone, it's by disintegrating, making this movement through the fractal nature of all that is, making this movement of like experiencing being one that is disintegrated in perception to the other ones, the other infinite ones who are also part of that same collective. And so that way you will, the all that is, will experience the, the, um, the kind of like possibility of learning to be a who, a, a, the, an idea, like a, have a personality, have like beingness, you know, being someone, being something. And that same structure repeat itself with the structure of the soul of one consciousness. It expresses itself in different fractals, in different layers that make it to have uh, the potential to reflect back to itself who it really is, who is the, what is the principal harmonic of the being, you know? So, that's why the soul has, the, the consciousness has many different densities and layers, because by the reflection and the information, the constant information of all of these layers of consciousness, there is a reflection pro process in which we get to a point of like getting a sense, an idea of who we are, a source energy. And so the soul, it's just that fractal, it's a real specific geometrical fractal structure that organizes, you know, all of these multidimensional facets of consciousness and attain experience in an intelligent interconnected quantum nature in which, you know, we're all the time receiving information from back and there, here and there, forward, you know, from different aspects of our holistic essence as soul as consciousness as individual consciousness so that we by reflection duality dynamics we can uh, get a sense we can reflect who is that we truly are and get back to the principle harmonic the principle is very called uh, part of the structure of that floor of life great thank you